Good morning. It is Tuesday, April 28th, and oh, that light is too bright. And we are finishing up our poetry unit this week. So you should have gotten from me a packet that looks like this, or something that looks extremely similar that looks like this. Okay, you also got a sheet of paper that is, has a poem on one side and a little chart on the back. Um, that'll be for third, that'll be for Wednesday. So don't worry about that today. Um, so if you got a packet like this, this is your study guide on the front two pages. And then the back is your test. And a few students have asked, Ms. Doyle, I turned my notes back into you two weeks ago or last week, so I don't have them. Uh, I'm going to put this in the instructions, but the poetry notes are on April 14th. So you're going to have to go back to April 14th because all of our stuff is still in there. You're going to have to go back to that and uh, use those to help you complete this. So if you got the one that looks like this, where the things are already written in there for you, you'll see this note in this box right here that says, in addition to this information, you will also need to know the poet biography information. Now that was from those poet biographies we did before spring break. I know it was a while ago. Um, those are still on my website. I can add them to Google Classroom as well. Um, but for that information, I included a back page in your study guide for you. So page one, page two, that page of your study guide before your test has the information for you. So what your task will be is to study that information and then for your test. If you got this one where there's nothing handwritten on it, but this, that poet information is already down here, I need you to do something for me. I made a mistake. You need to take your pen or your pencil and you need to scratch out those four, okay? They won't be on your test. And just, you know, for you guys, these four aren't actually on your test either, but I put them in. You're gonna scratch them out. Um, I mean, if you're interested, Life Doesn't Frighten Me and Still I Rise are by Maya Angelou. And then A Narrow Fellow in the Grass and A Bird Came Down the Wall are about Emily Dickinson, but we just, we read about her, but we didn't spend a lot of time on her. I had to cut some stuff out. So. I'm super sorry that I made that mistake when I made copying. So if this is your version where this is on the front, you, you can ignore those bottom four. If this is your version, I already wrote the names in for you. And the thing that's in the box here is on that last page, okay? So today, um, all you're gonna have to do is do the first page of your study guide front and back. So it's gonna be just like Julius Caesar where we did a front and back page, that's all. Then the next day, we'll do a front and back page. And then you have actually three days, including the weekend to finish your test. Um, but your test isn't as long as it was for Julius Caesar. Uh, you will have to write a poem for this study guide and for this test. And it's going to have instructions for exactly what that should look like, okay? Um, so yeah, pretty standard day. Um, we're just going to finish up poetry this week and go over some of the poems that we read as well as those uh, poetry devices that you focused on in your poems. Um, I'm super excited to see those. Uh, they were collected yesterday, but I don't actually get to look at them until uh, on Wednesday. But I have taken a look at some of the ones who submitted them online and I'm actually super impressed. Like, we, a lot of you who said, I don't know how to write a poem, or is this good? Yeah, they're really good. Um, I also wanted to say thank you to the students who sent in ideas for, uh, the type, for our, our title page of our poetry book. Um, I will let you know what that's going to look like, uh, and I guess you'll be able to come and see it next year in the fall, but I'll at least send out the, uh, like the cover page so you can see that. But yeah, so um, again, April 14th is the day where we did our poetry notes initially. So you can go back to that if you need help with any of these. Uh, the primary thing that you're, that's probably gonna take you the most time is the literary terms, which are those poetic devices. Um, 
you're going to need to be able to not just de define what they are, so like what assonance is, which is repeated vowel sound on the inside of a word, not the beginning. But then you also have to create an example for me, okay? So each of those, being able to define them as well as then create your own example. Please don't use the example from the notes because that doesn't help your brain at all. Try to come up with a new one. Um, I really enjoy seeing your examples, they're fun. Um, so yeah, today and tomorrow it is study guide. So you only need to do one page front and back today. But if you're feeling really ambitious and you want to get ahead of the game, then you can do the whole study guide today and then you won't have homework tomorrow. So today and tomorrow is the study guide. Then Thursday, Friday, and Monday, you'll finish up the test. Now, one thing you should know is that on Monday, you will have a little mini writing assignment. Um, it is very informal. Um, I will give you a prompt and it's just going to be you. It'll be an evaluative question, which means it's just gonna be your opinion. Um, but it is going to be connected to poetry. So um, that is our plan for the week. Your homework today, like I said, four or five times is the study guide. And again, if I gave you this one, don't forget what's in this box. It's on the last page. If I gave you this one, you don't need to do those top four, those bottom four. Okay? We just didn't have time to read them. And yeah, I hope you guys had a great weekend and oh last note this week is our last week where we have a five-day week meaning we do still have class today wednesday thursday friday and then we do have class monday we have homework monday next week when we start our next unit that's when we're going to transition to the four-day week where you'll have tuesday through friday of classwork and then monday is like a catch-up day where you can check in with teachers or you know, just get caught up on things that you maybe didn't finish and then turn your stuff in. Um, that gives us teachers an extra prep day and extra time to connect with you. And um, you also should look out for some communication. I know some of you met with Mr. Lamprecht um, in like a live classroom last week. Uh, your teachers are, were deciding a day that might work out for all of us to be able to be available for you to come on and live chat with us. So, okay, stay posted, or like, I'll keep you posted on that. Other than that, I will exit. I'll let you have time to do your work and miss you guys. Uh, I'm really excited for our next unit. So poetry um, is fun. It's a little more fun when we get to do it in person. Uh, but our next unit will start notes on next week and it's a lot of fun, okay? So uh, have a good day. Happy Tuesday. I hope you get to enjoy the nice weather and I'll see you later. Bye.